It's so refreshing. Now it's time to go. I get so sad when I leave Nittany. She's like my little buttercup. Do you want to go out before we go? Get some fresh air? She's my everything, y'all. So I'm sharing my outfit of the day. I am wearing, uh, this top is from Revolve. It's a tank top, but it's like a little bit elevated. I just like the quality of this one. And I feel like it doesn't lose its shape all throughout the day. And I ended up cropping it. I bought these super sharp scissors from Home Depot. And I love them because any anytime, like I have a short torso. So anytime I have to crop something, like if I just have regular, you know, Target scissors or Walmart scissors, it doesn't really cut it. Um, but I ran across these from Home Depot and it literally like, shh, like it cuts such a straight line. So I love it and it just cut it a little bit shorter. That's the only thing I don't like about these tank tops. I have a black one, I have a, this white one. And the black one, uh, I mean, sorry, both of them. <laughs> They're just like a little bit longer and then I have to tuck it in. It's just like, it's like because the, the material is a little bit thicker it makes it like too bulky in the jeans or in the shorts. So I cut it and it's perfect. It like lays at the right length, you know, and just makes things a lot better. I typically would wear a belt, but it's a beautiful day. And I just, sometimes I feel like a belt makes it a little bit more formal. And I'm all about a non-formal day today. I just want to relax and just have a good day. These jeans are by the brand Frame. And guys, when I tell you that I have had, um, just like the worst time finding the perfect pair of jeans. I bought these, these are a little bit on the higher end side, but it had lots of great reviews on them. I've been kind of on the mission of always reading the reviews, like not just the first couple, four or five, I read them all. Um, and just kind of from based off the reviews, I make my decision. And so I made the decision to buy these jeans and they're like ankle length, which I'm five, three, and they hit a little bit above the ankle bone, which I love because it shows like enough ankle and foot for like sandals or whatnot. They're super comfortable because they're stretchy and they're just like, they move with you and they're a little high waisted. Um, again, I am, have a short torso, so I have to be really careful with high-waisted things because sometimes they come all the way up here and this one hits right below my belly button. I don't know if you can see that, but I just love these and they also come in a couple of washes. So I'm thinking of getting, um, there's like a lighter wash maybe for like the summer and stuff. I don't know. I wear jeans all year round, so I can benefit from using jeans um, or buying jeans that are a little bit more expensive because I use them all year round and I will use my jeans over and over and over again. So I changed my mind and I ended up going with these gold raffia flat sandals. They're pretty comfortable and I thought that they would kind of elevate the whole outfit a little bit more. So I am back home. I am the world's worst vlogger at this point. Um, but we did a thing. That's why that that's my excuse. Um, we did a big thing today and I'm going to insert a clip that I took on my phone. Um, so you guys can see. So I'm going to be putting the clip in right here. What? Yeah. What do you think we're here for? I need a shower. What do you think we're here for? Well, it says mini of Fort Myers. Well, Matthew needs a car, so. Wait, but I haven't even, I haven't even packed my stuff up in state. This is for Matthew. We need your help picking it up. No, we're not doing playing games. Do you, do you think this is wild of us? Yeah, I thought we were going to Home Goods. 
<laughs> think you deserve this? No. No? Why? Because <laughs> I was acting like a brat to go help y'all at home. Cause... <laughs> do you do you think that um, this is my idea or Todd's idea? Both. <laughs> How's like the vote? <laughs> Well, go ahead and get in it. <laughs> Are the keys in there? No, I got Oh. <laughs> it's all nice and shiny. Oh, nice and shiny. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah, so we bought my oldest a car. So now that she's transferring schools, um, she just got really tired of, you know, the seasonal depression. Um, it gets really cold where she was going to university and she was like, she loves the lifestyle here in Florida. She thinks that the weather is much nicer. And um, yeah, and it's also closer to her family so it just made more sense for her to transfer and she got accepted and todd and i talked about if she did get accepted and she committed to a university here closer to us that we would have to buy her a car to get to and from all the places she needs to go to just be successful so that's what we did today and um it almost felt like she didn't know how to act. She was like, is this real? Like every time she'd walk and pass it while she was inside the house, she I would catch her stopping, just like looking. She's like, it just doesn't feel real yet, mom. <laughs> so that was really nice uh, to see that she was appreciative of it and everything. So, but anyways, I am in my robe because honestly, I know you know what it feels like to buy a car. It drains you. <laughs> you're negotiating back and forth. You're a lot of waiting. <sighs> you know, you're spending money. Honestly, it exhausts you. So I am going to fill up that tub with some hot water and some Epsom salts. And then I'm going to get in the water and just unwind and take the day off. Um, yeah. How many of you guys love taking baths? I love it. I'll show you the salts that I use and um, sometimes I use eucalyptus with grapefruit or orange essential oils and that is to me the best combination for a bath concoction like with essential oils it smells so nice all right guys I just found out I'm out of bath salts and it just oh, it's so devastating when that happens um, I am gonna it's not eucalyptus I am gonna share my concoction it's peppermint oil and grapefruit but you can use any citrus these two together for whatever reason are just they smell so good in the bath i feel so relaxed that bath was well needed i am now in my pjs these are from print fresh or is it fresh print <laughs> I don't know it's i will link them below if you're interested i'm not gonna lie these are at a higher price point but they're amazing they feel wonderful and they're my favorite pair of pajamas and i love the animal print i just think it's the cutest and they have other prints as well um but yeah if you're interested i'll link these down below but now i'm gonna sit and relax for the rest of the evening i feel like i have hair on my face we are going to watch the final four game, which is UConn and Alabama. Um, for those of you that are new here, or maybe don't know, uh, one of my daughters goes to the University of Alabama, so we have to support Roll Tide. <laughs> so um, yeah, that is what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of hours. I'm also gonna be doing some work from my laptop. You know, I could do two things at one time. I could be productive, have some fun watching the game. I really hope Alabama wins. This will be big, especially, um, I just think that it'll be a big deal. So um, I wanted to share one of my favorite sprays because I've mentioned it before. 
Um, and some of you ask me, and now that I'm on video, I'm gonna show you what it is. It's this bottle right here. It is the Bare Vanilla by Victoria's Secret. This is my signature scent. I love spraying this all over myself. Um, I'm gonna go make myself a water, sit on the couch, get my computer ready, and get ready to watch the game. So we are at Target now. I am looking for some shoe cubbies or some kind of organizational solution for my closet for all of my shoes. So I think, I didn't find the cubbies or anything, but I found this stackable shelf horizontal shelf for shoes and it is $17 and it's 31 inches which is exactly what I need and I can just stack them or put them side to side I think that's the route I'm taking all right guys I'm about to show you I got rid of the bigger bag I thought this is more manageable I'm going to show you what I got I didn't get too many things um i did go in for that blush which i ended up getting i'll show you in a second but i saw this burberry her perfume set and guys if you've never smelled this fragrance you just have to it is so wonderful it's it's kind of hard to describe i will look for the notes if i if they're on the back gosh this is like stuck in here but anyways it comes with this size, which is one fluid ounce, and then a travel size um, spray, like per, like one that you could travel with, which is in need because I love this fragrance. And sometimes when you try to put them in an automizer, it gets everywhere, it goes everywhere, and they leak, which is one of my pet peeves. So whenever I saw this with the travel um, size, I was just like, yes and that's what that looks like it is awesome and you have to get the perfume not the toilet one um for it to s smell like the way i like it. like i love the way that one smells and then i got two of these dr jart uh face masks they're so simple they're perfect to travel with and this one is a vitamin c which happens to be one of my favorites because i do um deal with melasma and hyperpigmentation which makes my skin my I can't talk today which makes my skin a little bit uneven and so i try to focus a lot like trying to do the hydrofacials anything's gonna be brightening and hydrating and i also practically never leave the house without spf and so anytime i want to do like a self-care night i always make sure i have one of these on hand and if i travel they have a moisture or a hydration one where they use hyaluronic acid and that one is amazing so these two things um, i ended up getting a travel size charlotte tilbury um the original like the lipstick and the lip liner because these take a lot less room in your makeup bag and i'm trying to learn how to pack more efficiently and i also am trying to keep a um like i'm gathering products so i can always keep a makeup bag packed with like my most used and reliable items or products so i don't have to worry about that i think that'll take a little bit of the anxiety out of like the packing scenario for me i don't know what it is or where or when this happened to me but 
anytime I go on a trip, whether it be a week long or like a weekend getaway, I just have this incredible anxiety over packing and I don't know why. And I just want to try to find a way to not be anxious. I want to, because I think it takes the fun out of planning a trip or even looking forward to the trip is worrying about the packing scenario. So I thought that if I had a makeup and a skincare and a hair care um, little, you know, you know, like something already packed for those things, already packed, and when I run out of things, I can just like replenish it in those travel kits, that that will take a major part of the anxiety out, and all I have to worry about are my outfits. So that's kind of like why I bought this and why I had that in mind. And I ended up getting a shampoo and conditioner from the Moroccan oil brand. I love this brand, y'all. I love the way it smells. I love the way it leaves my hair. Um, and I don't know why I don't buy it. It's color safe, which is nice. I would like to buy it more often, but I'm such a sucker with trying other things that, you know, they kind of get forgotten about, so. Um, I got this blush stick from Huda Beauty. It is in Coral Cutie. It is their cheeky tint blush stick. Let me um, swatch it for you. I really like their packaging. It's kind of scary, but um, as far as like how bright the color goes, but it's really nice. Look at that. And I thought for the spring and summer, that would be really beautiful. Um, and the packing is just very simple and plain, which I really like. Um, another cream blush. I think cream blushes are amazing, especially if they're easy to blend out. If um, this is a naturally rose, I'll list all these things below if you're interested. Um, you have until April 15th for the sale. So if you are waiting to get paid or you're, you know, just don't have time. Again, I love the packaging on these Rare Beauty products. And this is that color right there. I mean, look how pretty. And it's a lot scarier in the pot, like in the packaging, but I'll just swatch it. I love it. I love this type of packaging because um, it's right there because you can just like dip your brush in there and then just see how it's so nice and light and easy to blunt out and it feels really super silky. Um, so you see what I mean? It looks a lot scarier in the pot. Um, because it's nowhere near that bright when you apply it to the skin. Then I saw this product on, this girl uh, gives a lot of beauty recommendations and she recommended Calaray Hideaway Brightening Under Eye Color Corrector in Pale Sun. And that's what the packaging looks like. And she says um, it looks really bright and it's like a yellowy type of color, but like um, she said if you put it on and then you apply your concealer over top, it like covers everything, even the purpleness, the redness, the discoloration. So I really wanted to try it. And then I could not find my Pillow Talk original lip liner, like the original, not the medium. I do like the medium, but I, I used to use the original nonstop. And so I just got another one of those and I'm sure you've um, swatched this before. That's this right here. It's just like a nudie pink color and I, I love it. It's, it's a really, really pretty color, um, that I love. I think it's universal. It goes with all kinds of skin tones. You really cannot, you really cannot beat it. Okay. I wanted to show you how the shoe racks ended up. Um, so my clothes are longer. <laughs> but just so you can see this is like actually i loved it because it created like three tiers like the bottom the middle and then the top so what i did is like i put the ones that i don't really use but i still like up at the top and then like just my heels in the middle i tried to organize them by color and yeah basically by color <laughs> and then i have another one here that i have to fill up with more shoes um i did go through all of them and i donated quite a few um which you know created space and some just were old and 
Yeah, but um, that's, I also have a lot more in my office that I use for like outfit of the days or just like for the spring, um, for the, for like the spring season. I interchange a lot of my shoes from my closet in my bedroom to my, like I have a shoe space underneath my clothing rack. And so I kind of interchange those quite frequently depending on what the trend is or the season, things like that. And yeah, another thing that I'm really proud of is my, um, I don't know if you can see, it is my perfume rack. I got this, they're like shelves and you can place them however far apart you want. And we just created a space for my fragrances and I just love it. It's become so handy. Um, there was a lot of unused wall space in this closet and Next, I want to figure out how to hang and display my my belts. Right now, this is pretty functional, but it's not like, I don't know, very eye-pleasing, I guess. So I would love to find a way to um, display my favorite belts that I use. But yeah, I wanted to close out this vlog for the night. It is Sunday night. I am ready to wind down, wash my face, get in bed, and get ready for a beautiful week that's going to be filled with lots of great positive opportunities and great things to come. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.